Hello everybody, Camelia here. Welcome to a new sewing magazine flip through. Today we have Knip Mode magazine issue January 2024. So let's see how uh, Knip Mode is uh, starting the new year. We get in this uh, issue, we get some, um, a little bit, uh, how should I say? Um, a little bit from everything, let's say. And um, this year they are also going to, well, in 2024, they are going to uh, celebrate uh, 55 uh, years. So let's, let's take a look. You can see here a little bit uh, an overview of the patterns. They are not all the combinations here. You'll see them later in the magazine. And um, in this issue they have also one of their readers um, wish uh, sewing patterns. You know, you, at the moment you could send them, uh, uh, and I think you can always send them, um, a, uh, I don't know, an idea of a pattern that you really, really want to have. And uh, sometimes, you know, they, they get on and they, uh, they make those. And uh, in this issue is a very special one. I'll, I'll get to it. Uh, at, you know when I get to it. So the first pattern is um, is a little top. This one here is a pretty simple top. Um, probably they are going to use it later in the magazine also as a base for other stuff. But you could always use it also. You can. It's a it's a little bit of a cropped length. I think it has a, a, some ties in the back. Uh, let's see if we get some information about the top, maybe on the next page. Um, uh, let me see about the top. Um, it's a pretty wide sleeve, as you can see. This one is made in uh, polyester elastane. And uh, yeah, you know, it has a, a slit in the back with a little uh, button and a loop. And then we have the pants. You will see these pants in uh, quite a few variations in the in the magazine. I don't know if they are. Maybe I think they are the only pants that we get in this issue. I'm not sure. I think so, but with uh, with a bunch of variations. Um, they have some really deep pleats here in the front. Uh, very modern looking pants. Although I must say that I think the fit and the fabric in in a pant like this it's really are very very important i mean the fit must you should have just enough um ease in this in order to avoid the splits opening up over your belly let's say of over um about uh, um a fuller tie so you really need to have a good test garment for these pants if you want them to fit really nicely because otherwise I think it could be a really bad look if you have a very stiff fabric you know and then the fit that is not very good in this area and then you have the pleats opening all the way or I don't know sitting away from the body so very very important um, let's see what did they use here uh, it's uh, black polyester satin and it is uh, with uh, 3% elastane. Then we have one of the favorite uh, patterns of mine from this issue. We have this tunic, tunic um, 8A. Um, it's a pretty uh, loose style, I would say. It has a yoke here in the back. The yoke in the magazine is cut only single layer. I did cut on mine um, two layers. I will show it to you in the next video. Uh, it has a really nice white placket here in the front, a uh, standard um, shirt. Uh, with uh, a color with uh, with uh, with a stand, and there are some pretty white cuffs here at the bottom. There are some slits also here on the sides. I just keep the slits and I just sew it up all the way down. It's also possible, and um, it's a very fast thing to make. I use for mine. They used here. Let's see. They use a polyester for mine. I used um, viscose chalet from Minerva. And it's looking really, really beautiful. It has some bust darts, but the bust darts are coming a little bit at an angle. You cannot really see here, but they are more at an angle that you can see here. It's not a standard, almost horizontal bust dart as they do in most of the patterns, but this one is coming a little bit like this at an angle. And uh, this, I, I, I don't see the sizes here. That's a pity that I don't put immediately the sizes, but uh, or you can see here actually. I'm sorry. 
I take that back. The sizes are from S to X, uh, triple uh, XL. I uh, so they are not the the standard sizes. I used uh, size M with my usual adjustments, and it it really fits a little bit like on the model here. So I kind of like that. Um, we have here again the top from earlier. You can see it here a little bit from the back with that little bow. I'm not sure about the length of this one. You can see here actually. You can see it here. It's not uh, in the pants. Um, yeah, it's a simple top. It's not so much to say about it. What can I say about it? This is a culotte version of the pants from earlier. You know, I remember I had a similar pair of uh, culottes made from years, years back, made from um, from a Buddha pattern. And I do remember that I used in that one, I used, uh, but on those ones, the, the, the leg was even wider. It was almost like an A-shape type of leg on, on the Buddha ones. This one is a little bit straighter, as you can see. But I remember that I used a white uh, twill crepe, I think. And the fabric was just, the fabric itself was a little bit spongy and uh, uh, spongy. It had a little bit of weight and a little bit of uh, thickness to it. And made in a pleat like this, it was really terrible. I, it, I had the most beautiful finish on that culottes. I never wore them because they were really, it was just, you really need to be careful the fabric that you're using. Here they use again a, a let's see, a, a stretch setting, I think. No, this is a kepper, um, um, a twill cotton. But I think this is really the, the thickest you should go. It needs to have a little bit of flow and a little bit of drape and the perfect fit here around the, the front. Uh, they also advise here that it could be it would work really nicely in a black in a black, in a dark uh, blue uh, of a black denim. It could work, it could work. Then we have here and I'm trying to see. I'll go back to here. I'm a little bit confused about this top because as I can see here, this is looking like there is a, a sleeve insertion in this top and I'm going to take, as you can see here actually, this is a little bit confusing because if you if you see here and I've seen it also in the beginning here but they talk about a kimono type of sleeve Although I do see here these lines, and this is actually is a little bit um, um, is is not as it should be because as you can see here the top is actually it's a cut on sleeve, so that's why also here on her I see no seams because there are actually no seams. So this is a cut on sleeve top. This would be really really fast uh, to make, and they used here stretch setting, but of course because it's it's such a wide. A garment you can easily make it in a fabric without stretch and because I see it here you can see actually I think it's the same uh, base as earlier maybe with a little bit of more volume here down with a button closure in the back which to be honest I really hate these button closures in the back because when I sit in the car let's say or when I sit on a chair I feel always these buttons in the back so you know I'll just keep the Keep the little slit with the button here at the upper part of the neckline. Here they added a nice white band and the bottom of the top is gathered into that uh, band. But here you can truly see that there is, you know, is only the fold of the fabric and there is no uh, separate sleeve. Then we have a little uh, skirt and I wonder if the skirt is cut on the bias and I'm just going to take a minute. You know, this skirt's uh, a little bit uh, uh, white. It's not cut on the bias, but I think on the bias will fall even nice, even more nicely. But this is a type of skirt made in a satin like this that is very popular these days. And you know, it works great with um, all kinds of shoes. And uh, of course, here this combo is also very, very pretty. Then we have a really pretty dress and to make it even more prettier or to give us a little bit of extra work, Knipola added some uh, boning here in the in the seams. Um, yeah, what can I say? I mean, it's a really pretty dress. I think I'll skip the boning all the way. Uh, but made in denim with some uh, nice uh, 
maybe a contrasting thread it will be even nicer um, the boning idea is nice you know you could always add an um, exposed zipper in the back to go with the denim could be really nice and uh, yeah, I think it's uh, her fabric is really really pretty then we go here to one of those uh, uh, do we have a pattern for this? I don't think so this is one of those patterns that you need to to make yourself let's see this is 10 uh, no actually um, I think I cannot see that but no actually you really get the pattern pieces for this dress this is a really pretty model Ooh, I really don't like these long sleeves like this it's looking like uh, something is or hanging or is too long but uh, this uh, would be something really very easy to uh, to put together and they also have a free video where they show how to uh, uh, let's see you uh, where you can see how to stitch this and of course you can use it also to uh, sew one of the top variations of this dress here we have actually um, I think well it's more of a variation on the top from earlier you know with the cut on sleeve the sleeves on this are pretty low and uh, you should think about it when uh, wearing this with jackets or um, you know things with a little bit uh, lesser uh, volume here or wide um, armhole because you know if you have like a jacket that has a really small you know standard armhole you'll have problems wearing a dress like this which has a really um, has a lot of fabric here under the arm but the fabric again is really it's a great choice and the whole shape I, I kind of like it the styling is also beautiful then we have here another variation of the top of the pants from earlier actually you can see it in two fabrics again it's not something that I will wear I'm not a very big fan of it of, of these pants but you know I I suppose there, there is a public for it too um, here is made in uh, stretch denim well there is so much volume in this I don't think the stretch is very very necessary uh, this is for, for example this is made in a fabric without stretch they look to me in this case and I think a little bit here too like the crotch I don't know if the crotch on her is just too low or they are made to have a little bit of um, let's see the dropped crotch I don't know this is this, it's a little bit overwhelming the whole thing but again choosing the right fabric and you know if you really like the model I think uh, they are a little bit you know not your standard pair of pants then we have here another variation of the same top with the cut on sleeve from earlier but here they added a pretty nice uh, color and the button closure in the front and also some white uh, cuffs I think this one is nice. I really like the fabric again. Then we have a really, really pretty dress. This is my standard. Uh, my standard. This is my uh, one of my favorite kind of dresses, with a nice slick skirt underneath and a little bit of volume here at the waist. They have some uh, nice uh, cap sleeves and again that button closure here in the back. There is also a small invisible zipper here on the skirt because although you have some volume here, you know, this is actually the same top part what they used earlier by adding only the, um, uh, the band. But here they add the skirt and of course you really need to have uh, uh, an opening, the closure, for the skirt and they used a little uh, invisible zipper. I think it could totally be possible to use an invisible zipper all the way up and skip the, the buttons but of course in this case the buttons add an extra um, design element love love the fabric here then we have a variation of the off shoulder dress from earlier here they use it a little bit more on the shoulder but it's basically the same pattern I really like it this is a chiffon I think a wall and it's uh, actually very nice with the uh, with the white elastic here in the cuffs again those pants 
not a big fan also of the big turn up uh, hems here I'm happy they don't made it in they did not made it in red because it was like a little bit of a Santa pants um, yeah I'm not a big fan of the pants but again I do appreciate all the details that they added in into them then we have for the men in our lives we have um, a really nice uh, classic uh, button-down shirt and although it's really difficult to see here in the picture you can see here they did a little bit of a uh, um, thing with the back uh, yoke or the yoke of the, of the shirt for the rest you really have a button placket with, uh, with a nice cuff I kind of like the whole um, fit of the shirt and for the little ones there is um, the the pattern you can find it in the nip knip kits from uh, let's see uh, number six something to remember or to remember um, I don't know if you know but um, they uh, clean mode brought out that from next year I think February March I'm not sure uh, March I think issue so in the beginning of the year somewhere they are going to switch and the knip kits so the their um, sewing magazine sister for uh, little kids uh, is going to stop printing and they are going to bring some kids patterns also in the knip mode you know a little bit like Burda so you know I my kids are now 13 so I still can sew from them from the children uh, patterns so I think it will be a an, um, an plus they did not say anything about putting lesser patterns for women in uh, in the uh, knip mode so as long as they don't do that I think it's going to be a win-win for everybody let's go further to the next patterns and then we can take a look at the drawings so next we have a little jacket which is made here in a jacquard it's very very pretty um, I'm not sure if it has buttons of press buttons you could easily add a zipper also to it I really like the fit of this <sighs> again the pants another fabric this is what is this uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure what they used for the pants baggy pants I'm not big fan of baggy pants but if you are a fan of baggy pants you can find it in this issue you have all the the the, <laughs> the options for this uh, for this model uh, well they did make it in red here this is uh, <laughs> is the same is made here is uh, what is this this is uh, uh, I don't know what what fabric is this again it's uh, twill fabric is a 50% linen and 50% lyocell and you can see that this is very very drapey here I really like the fit here you can see the um, folds or the pleats are really nice falling down I'm not a big fan of these white cuffs and then we have my uh, favorite uh, tunic here they use a beautiful beautiful cotton here very very nice fabric I really like it I love the look of it uh, I love the, the, the little uh, pleat here in the back, very very nice. Oh, on my, uh, on my tunic I also made a little uh, tie because I think I'm going, you know, my, I think I'm going to wear it with a, with, with a, with a little uh, tie in the waist, just to bring it a little bit in. Then this is going to be, you know, last year they, they had that uh, little dress where you got every month different sleeves to add to it, you know, or to make a uh, variations on the same pattern and in this case we have uh, or I think for next year they start with this blazer and we get this uh, cape like um, back with the uh, of course cape like sleeves so if you intend to uh, you know to make a blazer if you buy this uh, knip mode you have the base of the blazer because in the next issues they are only going to give um, extra elements to it so not the the base itself so the front and the back and stuff like that so probably they'll give different sleeves 
or maybe they will maybe I'm pretty sure they will add different colors to it or pockets and stuff like that um, next we have that uh, wish uh, pattern and this is um, this is the dress it's uh, one of the patterns that you have to download uh, it will be for free to download from their website and they have later this is a lady that um, she um, she wanted a pattern like this uh, to make it's 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 a very interesting story uh, she did uh, take part in um, in a TV show made for people that uh, can't uh, read and write and she has a very very interesting uh, story there although she can sew very well she always had problems with uh, with uh, reading well she could not read so uh, the sewing part was uh, she could take the patterns out of the magazines but not reading the instructions later she did go to school again and uh, learned that too so um, it's, a, it's a very uh, very interesting story here is a variation on the dress from earlier this is a free pattern for this month I really like this kind of patterns with the long uh, uh, darts here very very nice and again this fabric is just amazing it's so so beautiful I wonder where they where the fabric is coming from it's very 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 nice and then we have here a, a top and a skirt and they made it here as a dress I'm not sure if I'll make this as a dress I'll just make the shirt and make the, the skirt and then you can you know you can uh, mix and match the skirt is very very pretty actually I really like it they used let's see this is a stretch cotton I was planning to make it in a viscose but I think a stretch cotton or a cotton for that matter something that is not too uh, heavy will work really nicely you can see here in the printed fabric you cannot see a lot but I think there are some really beautiful details in this skirt with this gathered part here onto the uh, upper part of the skirt the blouse, the top itself is a pretty standard shirt they use the same here and I think uh, the fronts or the, the parts that are getting tight they are just uh, uh, some extra flaps that are sewing into the side seams um, although on her here it's not looking very very flattering I think tight a little bit um, tighter here at the waist will look much more flattering but it's a it's a really nice uh, nice model and I really hate this brown I don't know why they use this brown um, this is also made in cotton but for the rest the, the you can see there are some really nice details in this uh, dress there are some nice darts here in the back and the pleat of course you have a standard beautiful uh, placket uh, here on the sleeve very very nice again that really pretty pretty dress made here in the bigger sizes another fabric obviously very nice and here they have you know the, the dress from earlier the red one with the video uh, tutorial the, I really like this with a little bit of a uh, um, detail here on the shoulder very very nice I do like this even more because you can see that it's made to be worn on the shoulder or on the shoulders and you still show a little bit of flesh here uh, through these uh, big holes very very nice and of course with a pretty uh, skirt and here they have it as you can see it's really funny because they here they use two different pattern, uh, two different uh, fabrics, and you actually will say that is a shirt and a top. But here they used the same fabric, and they did made a shirt and a, uh, a shirt and a skirt. Sorry. So um, I think uh, the most important part to fit in this skirt will be this uh, upper part. To fit very nicely here not very very tight I think on her is just a little bit too tight as you can see stopping here and then you get all the gathers this one is made in a viscose so I think my viscose will not be a really bad choice for this I think I'm going to to give this a try but first this one is this part here of course needs to be really nicely fitted and um, I, I really like this detail it's very very nice 
And as you can see, the, the shirt itself is also pretty fitted. And uh, here they changed, if, let's see, because it's the same shirt what they have here. And here is just because you have a seam in the back, it's a two sleeve, a two piece sleeve, I think. Um, here they skip that uh, bottom placket, and here is a standard sleeve with a bottom placket, and here is a sleeve, uh, you know, like you see mostly in uh, uh, denim jackets and denim shirts and stuff like that. Here we get a little bit of a preview from next month. We have, uh, I think, um, rain jacket. A Valentine dress, not so much to see from the details from this picture, and we have some uh, jogging fabric um, items. So let's take a look at this uh, at the drawings. You can see here all the variations on that dress, and actually on the red dress you also have those uh, picking holes here on the shoulders, but you cannot see them very well there because the dress is worn really on the shoulders. Uh, let's see, here we can see all the patterns, again the blazer that you have if you want, if you plan to make one, if you have this issue you'll be able to make also the variations that they are going to give us in the next um, uh, magazines. Um, I really like this uh, blue zone jacket here, the really pretty dress, my favorite tunic of this uh, issue and the dress which uh, later you can have it also as a skirt and also that midi skirt from uh, that you've seen. Um, the dress with the boning into the seams if you want. The PDF pattern of this month, a free one. And uh, all the variations on the same. What we've seen in the dresses here as tops with a little bit of uh, details. And of course, the king of this uh, issue, the pants. We have one, two, three, four variations on the same pattern and if I was to choose I think I'll choose the one without the flap here the waist and also so the most simple one without definitely without those cuffs and made in that viscose um, layer cell from the end not in red I think but I think that was a great fabric to, to choose you know uh, or it was a linen uh, layer cell something very drapey and soft so this is it. This was Knip Mode January 2024. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope you will take a look uh, on my next video where you can see my version of the tunic that we've seen here in the magazine. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to put your opinions on the, on the patterns you've seen here. Let me know what you find the most crazy and the most beautiful in this issue. <laughs> take care everybody. Bye!